James Mullen as James the Wine Guy. I'm really excited about this wine today. Why? Because I think about this um, wine program by Derek Rolfs, a winemaker. Is uh, I'm going to compare two wines side by side. Going to review one in this video and review in another video. So you have two different wines here, two different Pinot Noirs from the same vineyard site, block by block. So you have Dragonfly block and you have Sundance block. So Sundance right here, Dragon block right here. Today the review is going to be on the Dragonfly block. Why? This is really important because I think Pinot Noir is so, and I am not the only one that believes this is so site specific. And it's also block by block specific. So you're getting some different characterizations, and I think that's a really great way of you know, thinking about Pinot Noir and bottling Pinot Noir to really give that richness um, block by block. So very high elevation. Uh, Signal Ridge Vineyard is about 2,600 feet above sea level, close to the Pacific Ocean, uh, shallow and rocky soils. Um, 2011 vintage, a 14.2% ABV wine. Uh, very elegant, simple. I love the fonts here, elegant label. Back panel is also very simple, and I love the pictorial. What I love about this wine is, you know, you're not drinking Sonoma Coast, you're not drinking Russian River Valley, Caneros, Santa Lucia Highlands, Santa Rita Hills, Willamette Valley, etc., etc. You are tasting Mendocino County, specifically Mendocino Ridge, and I think you get a beautiful, elegant wine. I love the coloration on this, so if you get a piece of paper, lay it down on the table, and you can see this beautiful vitreous, uh, what I call a cathedral stained glass window coloration. It's absolutely beautiful. Scent characteristics on this wine are stone fruit orchard in fall time, new suede, and winter forest floor. Mm, uh, this is going to be a really beautiful wine to enjoy at your Thanksgiving meal. So here we go. Take a taste of the wine, give you some flavor characteristics as well as a point score. Mm. Notes of rose petal, graphite, wild raspberry, strawberry, um, red tea, seashells, Time and cardamom, elegant sequencing notes here. Uh, complexity is just going from, and uh, ever delicately so, going from one sequence note to another. And I think that's a beautiful quality of this wine. A 9.4 out of a 10.0 scale, and uh, you can think of it as 94 points out of 100 points. For more wine reviews, jamesthewineguy.com. Subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google Plus, Pinterest. Salut.